Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on output for generalized linear mixed models in JAS. After we have built our model and specified inputs in the software, we will get several tables and plots. The analysis of variance summary output table contains test statistics relevant to the fixed effects terms. Here we get an idea of which fixed effects are significant and which are not. Here we can see that the fixed effect of visit is significant and grossly by looking at our data we see that for people as the number of visits increase the outcome outcomes were favorable in the sense that onychomycosis was mild or severe one indicates mild or severe disease and zero indicates severe disease so as the number of visits increased so as the duration on treatment increased outcomes improved so just by grossly looking at the raw data and by looking at the ANOVA summary table we can see that the effect the visit visits the number of visits the duration on therapy had a significant effect treatment did not have a significant effect and we saw that with a chi-square test in an unadjusted analysis. The interaction for treatment by visit is also non-significant. So that means even though the, the duration on therapy increased, neither therapy was superior to the other. The model summary table provides statistics for fit of the model. In this case, we have only produced one model, but if we produce two or more models where we customize terms, we include different terms, we include interactions, we exclude interactions, we perform unadjusted, adjusted analyses, we can compare the AICs and other fit statistics to determine which model has the best fit. A lower AIC generally means the model is a better fit. The fixed effects estimates provides uh, coefficients or estimates for our model. And these are on the response scale. This is this being a generalized linear mixed effects model. The link function is important and the link function will determine the response scale. P values of course indicate significance and we can see which levels are significant. Note that levels are compared to the reference class. The estimated marginal means provide us with the least squares means for different levels of a factor. So EMMs are special in the sense that they produce means keeping other adjusting variables in the model constant. These are different from the means we would normally get on an, with an unadjusted analysis. Contrast specify the difference between estimated marginal means and we have seen in the previous video how to specify contrasts and interpret the result according to the contrast specified. In the next video we will have briefly have a look at how to report our results. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.